welcome to episode 11 of Cold Case Christmas. Like yesterday's episode on Daniel Hives missing from my county, the great county of Lancashire, the case we're investigating today is a very recent case, just one year old, the 11th of December 2022. A young man disappeared from Aviemore in Scotland. This is the unsolved disappearance of Rodrigo Falcon. <laughs> Rodrigo was originally from Argentina, but he'd been living in Aviemore in northern Scotland for about eight years before he disappeared. He had a job, he had a nice circle of friends and he enjoyed socialising and just doing the normal things that young men do. Rodrigo was 33 at the time of his disappearance and on this night, Sunday 11th of December 2022, Rodrigo had been out with friends in the Vault nightclub in uh, Aviemore. It was a very, very cold night. I remember last year, mid-December, when I was doing Cold Case Christmas 2022, I remember how cold it was here in Lancashire. And Aviemore is considerably more northern than I live. And it's cold up there. It's cold in northern Scotland. But when Rodrigo left the vault, he left his coat behind and his phone. They were there in the club, so whether he'd just forgotten them or just didn't need them, I don't know. I assume that he'd just forgotten them. He was wearing a red sweater, but still, I don't think that's very much protection against the cold. I'm going to start this episode from what Police Scotland has said about Rodrigo. There's Rodrigo caught on CCTV, which we'll get into. 33-year-old was reported missing on Sunday 11th of December 2022. Extensive searches and police inquiries have been carried out in Aviemore and the surrounding areas, sadly so far without success. So Rodrigo had been in the Vault nightclub on the night he was last seen. The most recent confirmed sighting of him was on CCTV walking on Grampian Road towards the southern end of Aviemore around 3.10am. Inspector Craig Johnstone of Aviemore Police Station said it's now one month and the police haven't updated uh, for the last 11 months. So It's now one month since Rodrigo was reported missing and despite significant efforts by police and the local community, it's not yet been found. It's clear from the response by the community how much concern they have for him and I want to take the opportunity to thank them for their assistance. We continue to work to locate Rodrigo and I would urge anyone who believes that they may have information which has not yet been passed on to us, get in touch no matter how small you feel the details you have are. Oh, and as I always say, there might be a little detail that means nothing to you, it's insignificant to you and you don't think to pass it on because it's so insignificant, but it could be huge to the police. It could be the puzzle piece that put in place gives answers to what happened to Rodrigo Falcon. If you can help them, please come forward by calling 101 using reference 2387 of 11th of December. Rodrigo is five foot six of slim build with dark hair cut in a mullet style with a moustache and beard. When he was last seen, he was wearing a red jumper and baggy jeans with no coat. There has been a private investigator firm on the case and they've got more information than the police have given. There's a number of articles talking about the investigation from the PI's perspective. And I'm reading here from the Rosshire Journal from the 31st of March. So this is an older article, but it does have quite a lot of information in it. Private investigators probing the disappearance of Aviemore man Rodrigo Falcon have said they are pursuing possible leads, but his vanishing remains unexplained. So we know that the last confirmed sighting of him was on CCTV at 3.10. And he was going in the opposite direction to where he lived. He was travelling south on foot. He lived to the north. Why was he going south? Where was he going? I think answering where he was intending to go is going to be crucial 
to putting that final puzzle piece in place. That's just my opinion. John McIver, an investigator with Impartial Investigations, said, We've spoken to a number of people who were in Rod's company before he was last seen. What happened that chilly morning in December is still unexplained. However, as with most investigations, there are various strands to this, and we are now checking out other possible leads. We are very grateful to everyone who has called in and emailed with information. Some of that information may yet prove to be very relevant, so I don't know if anything has come from those leads back in March. The public's help may eventually prove to be the key. I think it will, I really do. So we're renewing our appeal to anyone who think they may know anything about what happened to Rod to get in touch. So they've given a 24 hour voicemail and an email address. So this is to the PIs, if you prefer to speak to the PIs rather than the police. 0800 887 treble one or email rod at mm dot st so this is in my opinion a very important map so the yellow pins are the places where rod has been spotted so that's where the premier inn is on grampian road and then he was spotted here and then he was spotted further down here according to the pis so let's look at the map right here. This is Aviemore. So small town in the north of Scotland. Very chilly night. Very chilly night, the 11th of December. Remember, this is like 3 a.m. So this is the Premier Inn. This is where he was spotted going by on CCTV, walking south. So you've got the A9 and then you've got the B... I can't read that. B9152, I think. Okay, so you walk down here. And then, so where there's that? So just a bit further south. So here, around here. That was where he was last spotted, according to the PIs. Very, very rural area. A lot of expanse to cover. Where was he going? Where was he going, walking on his own? In the middle of the night. I do feel that's the key. The initial search is centered on the south end of the village and Linwilg area, where it's thought Rodrigo, who hails from Argentina, was last spotted by the Kinakyle Cliffs. Don't know where the cliffs are. Okay. The River Spey and other watercourses and locks were checked by police divers for any sign of Rodrigo, who moved to the Avimore area around eight years ago. Posters continued to be displayed by local businesses and on street furniture in Avimore, drawing attention to the disappearance. Rodrigo is five foot six, slim build, dark hair cut in a mullet style with a moustache and beard, wearing baggy jeans and a red jumper, but not his distinctive coat, which is understood to have been left behind along with his phone at the vault, despite freezing conditions outside. That's weird. Was he, you know, drunk or under the influence and just walked away and forgot? Did he not have anywhere intending to go? He just was worse for wear and he just walked away. It's possible and he succumbed to the elements, but where? So he was reported missing when he failed to turn up to work at Glenmore's popular Pine Martin and Scran on Monday. His mother flew from Argentina a few weeks after he vanished to get a briefing from the police on their investigation to find him. So they do have a Facebook page, Missing Person Rodrigo Falcon Avimore. So that's the last sighting on CCTV. So there's Rodrigo, video of him. I don't know why he's doing that. But... <laughs> it looks like a fun guy. <laughs> oh dear. So he likes, he's active, active guy. <laughs> So enjoying life, enjoying life. 
A young man in the prime of his life just disappears. It's bizarre. So this is from 18 hours ago, as I record this, the Pine Martin Bar and Scrans. This is where he worked. Hey team, Monday will mark one year since our beloved Rod went missing. We still have no answers on what happened that evening. That night I was with him, dancing and having a great time before he left and I haven't heard from him since. The song in this video may seem a bit weird, but it's there because Rod and I had planned to make a parody video to the song about our bromance, which we haven't been able to finish. Oh. We all miss him so much. If anyone has any information that might help any way, any way at all, if you have a tiny piece of information, it could be the thing that gives that answer. Please contact the police on 101 reference 2837 11th of December or you can anonymously email the private investigator team rod at mm.st or text or call, so there's another number here, 07458644100. We will never give up looking, buddy. Miss you so much. This is his mother. So she's made a plea. Now his mother, Daniela, has renewed her appeal for information on her very good son from her homeland, having made the long trip to the Strath for the second time at the end of October. She said she hopes no one else ever has to endure such heartache. Daniela said, a year after his disappearance, unfortunately, we still have no answers, nor do we know anything about his fate. We are still waiting for the investigation report that we've requested from Police Scotland. His friends, colleagues and entire family continues working to find out what happened on December 11th, 2022 at the exit of the Vault nightclub in Aviemore and what Rod's fate was. I want to thank the community of Aviemore for the work they did to find Rod the days after he disappeared, the local police and the tracking teams who worked in the area searching for any information that would bring us closer to the truth and also the divers who participated in the searches and the group of investigators who are currently following the case. A special thank you to his friends who continue to be alert and working to find answers. Rodrigo is a very good person, a very good son, a very good friend to his friends. He is super sociable, kind and very docile and hardworking. He loves good food, good wine and is passionate about travel and photography. Rodrigo left Latin America in search of a better future. After working and touring different countries, he arrived in Scotland and fell in love with the Highlands. He's lived there since 2016. We want Rod to come home and we will not stop looking for him. If you have any information about what happened that night or any clue, no matter how small it may seem, it's huge for us and I ask you to forward it to us. I appreciate it very much as a mother and I wish with all my heart that no one else has to go through such a painful situation. Private firm Impartial Investigations continues to look into Rod's disappearance and hopes the one year anniversary could spark some new information. A spokesman said, as there have been no concrete developments in the last while, from our point of view, we hope that the anniversary of Rod's disappearance will bring more awareness of the ongoing search for him and that will bring in some potential leads. We did meet with Rod's parents recently when they came over from Argentina and understandably they are determined as ever to try and bring the mystery to an end. Friend Katie, who runs the Pine Martin Bar and Scran, where Rod worked, said, One hope is that motorists living out with the area who were travelling on the A9 and the B9152 around the time of his disappearance may come forward with more dash cam footage and crucial information if they pick up on the appeal. An appeal has also been launched on social media for the one year anniversary and anyone with information is urged to get in touch by voicemail 0800 887 0111 that's a private investigator text 0745 644 or by emailing rod at mm.st all information will be treated confidentially. Do you remember seeing this man? In the early hours of the 11th of December, one year ago today, in Aviemore. Were you in Aviemore or travelling through Aviemore in the general area? Did you see this young man? His friends and his family are working hard to find him. 
Rod, if you're out there somewhere, please get in touch with someone. I don't think Rod just walked away from his life. I really don't. I think something happened. But what that is, I have no idea. But if you were in that area at that time, one year ago today, you could hold the key. Please get in touch with either the police or the private investigators. That's it for episode 11. And I'll see you in the next episode of Cold Case Christmas. Bye, guys. 